blog readers and YouTube subscribers, Captain Dave here. I just wanted to invite you aboard the Jetty Wolf underneath its uh, shed here. And I'm doing a short video just as a follow-up. When I uh, did the video about getting the Work Sharp sharpener, that thing is fantastic. All right, here we are down in the light. I don't think you could uh, see very much up here in the boat. But now we're down here in the light, and here's my knife box. I think I showed this before. Here's some of my Kazan foam, all right, that I keep my knives in to keep them, uh, you know, out of the moisture or anything like that. Here's that old Rapala knife that will be replaced this week with a brand new uh, flex blade forgener. I'm really, I really, in, really like the forgener knives. But this is just a simple box that I keep on the boat with this in it. Okay. And then as I showed you before, I keep a small little bottle here, a little mister bottle with some WD-40 in it and just a paper towel or a rag to wipe the blades off. Okay, so this is how I keep my blades nice and dry. I put them in here like that and uh, it's really seemed to be working using this foam and put the knives in the foam in the slots but what I want to show you here is after a hundred plus fish, this old beat up, I mean, I actually left this out in the weather at one time and the handle got all cracked. Okay, but this beat up old uh, Rapala knife, I have not sharpened it yet. Alrighty, here I am. I'm hoping I'm at a good vantage point for you all to see. Here's that piece of paper. Here's that Rapala knife. Over 100 fish. Okay, I've I've tried it once right here. Ooh, not good. I did it once right here. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, not good. Not good. Oh, there we go. So, the blade's still sharp. Probably needs to hit the old uh, work, work sharp sharpener one more time. After a hundred fish, at least. I mean, the amount of whiting that I did in one day. Okay, I did a video about catching all those whiting. A whole 72 quart cooler full. Okay. So, some really cool videos that you might want to check out for yourself on YouTube by a guy named uh, Captain Jack Russo. I've seen this guy before, and what he does is he cleans fish. He cleans fish like you would in a fish market. We're talking every ounce of fish that you could get out of, say, a redfish, a trout, a triple tail, a sheep's head, whatever, a flounder. He gets out. Of, but he does some fantastic fish cleaning videos. And one thing he de d does do is only uses a fillet knife for skinning a fish. And, uh, of course, I use, you know, whiting. You don't want to use a, a larger knife. I mean, I did all the whiting and yellowmouth trout in the last couple of weeks on this with this. Um, but what he did show me on this video was something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. See that? That's actually a stiff blade skinning knife, five inch Forgener skinning knife. And what's nice about this is I did it. I've cleaned some redfish um, already, and uh, no, it was a, I think I cleaned a drum with this knife. 
Now you would say, <clears throat> that doesn't look like a fish cleaning knife until you watch Captain Jack Russo. Let me tell you, this dude will 